morning, uh, social media friends, as we come to you uh, this morning from the uh, North Point Dixie Church of Christ, 916 North 8th Street, North Little Rock, Arkansas. We just want to uh, let you know that due to technical difficulties and some other things, we've been kind of like out, but we are working on, and hopefully that God will bless us with the type of finances that we need, that we will be able to entertain you in all manners of ways of on Sunday morning between 9 and 10 o'clock for the uh, how that you can be able to learn more about the Bible and Christ's church. We today want you to learn how to understand what the Bible means and what the Bible says. The Bible is the only book, and I know as the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 12 through 13, there are many books that's out here, but there's only one book can get you to heaven. And I will uh, debate or argue whatever that you want. As the Bible said, but debate that brother for this cause in the book of Proverbs. And I don't mind debating that the Bible is the only Bible. And I do understand in this day and technology time that they said that the Bible is outdated. If the Bible is outdated, then God take the sun away from them, take the moon away from them, take the uh, uh, rain away from them, and let them smell the filth on the earth, as you says in Isaiah 64 and 6. So if God created the book, and if God wrote the book, then it's time for the world to cease and not exist. You know, all of these books that people are writing, getting millions of dollars adding to the Bible. When the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 6, do not add or diminish all from the word of the commandments of God. Revelation 22, the Bible says, do not add nor take away from the word of God. And we are now re-tampering with the Bible, rewriting the Bible to fit our uh, academic achievements, to read out, to reach our understanding, but the only understanding that I want you to know, especially in this pandemic time and this uh, uh, COVID time, that people are staying at home, not reading their Bible, they are reading their telephone. You know that uh, that botanical tool that you use, we need to go back to the mechanical tool. The mechanical tool is sitting down, sitting down. I'm slowing down. Sitting down. Studying. 2 Timothy 2.15. Most of us don't know how to study. Look at the unit. He studied. He learned. He tried to read, to understand. But as Paul says, whereby Ephesians chapter 3, whereby when you read, you may understand the mystery and the knowledge of God. But again, as Jesus says in Matthew 15.16, when you read, do you understand? Do you can we understand? Uh, understanding is the best thing in the world. The Bible says in Proverbs 4 7, out of all of our getting, we should get an understanding. I want to say once again to all of you, I want to thank you for being with us, and I hope that I be able to inspire you by something about the Bible. Because the Bible, that one Bible, that one church, that one Lord and that one God, let me allow me to break them down as the Bible tells us. And uh, as the Bible tells us, there are three that bears record in heaven. And I don't know how we get it twisted that Jesus is God. Let me back it up. You know, I hear my own brother in the Church of Christ preaching that. Jesus is God. And all of my competitive friends that's out there, as Jesus said, Matthew 15, 16, and 17, beware of me. As Jesus says in Matthew 15, verse 3 and 9, tradition has allowed Satan to come into our world into your heart. See, your heart. This is your heart. I don't have nothing in here. I don't have this heart. My heart is Roman 10, 9, and 10. With the heart, man believes. See, if you got Jesus down here, and 
and Jesus of him and no God nowhere. Who is God? The Bible says traditionally we are being like the cell phone and the social medias are today. We believe anything that man say that we are. We believe we are having a little technical difficulty, so please bear with us. We're going to try to work this out this week. We've got some new equipment and some other stuff coming in, so just kind of bear with us till we, till God blesses us. Thank each and every one of you for your offering, for your time, whatever that you send to this ministry, to P.O. Box 4724, Little Rock, Arkansas. We would greatly appreciate it. Those of you who are listening to us, we need to make sure that we can stay on the air, we can stay and upgrade our uh, technology system in which that we have today. And I just want to let you know that the Bible said tradition. You know, we got a lot of these traditional churches. They don't know what they believe. A lot of these traditional preachers that's coming out, they don't know what to teach. We got a lot of women who wants to use of authority over the men. They don't know how to teach. The Bible said, let them be teachers at home. Let them be over a certain thing. Not that I'm saying that women doesn't have a place in society and life. But when it comes down to what God said, the laws of the land, I wish every woman was the president. I wish every woman was the judge. I wish every woman was the lawyers. I wish every woman could do how because our children are in trouble. Men has never been able to teach and guide their children at home because a man is basically like me. I know how to work. I know how to make money. But when it comes to paperwork and when it comes to the house, my wife is the greatest of all because my mother was the greatest of all. My mother taught me, if you don't have nobody but yourself, do until somebody can come. Bible says in Judges chapter 7, when the men of God wouldn't stand up for the word of God because they was coward, first king chapter 17, they let Jezebel hide them in a cave, drink water, and do all these things. Same thing it is today. The women does what? Make men hide behind and stay behind, stay at home, and while they come out and serve God. Why can't we come out together and serve the Lord? Why can't we give what the Lord would want us to have, how the Lord want us to give unto what he has said? Like I said, 1 John 5, 7. Trying to hold off, but technology is not going to allow me. 1 John 5, 7 said there's what? Three. How are you going to make three one people? Three persons in heaven. Three. One has never come to the earth. One no man in face has never seen. One, somebody said, oh, no, there you go. How many people have seen the sun? The Bible says even when he got ready to go back to heaven, he lived here 33 years, so how many people got to see the Son of God in the flesh and in the spirit? The Bible tells me in Acts chapter 20, I mean, in Acts chapter 24, when he got ready to leave to go back to heaven, there were 5,000 people saw Jesus going back to heaven. Now, who you know that has ever seen God? I believe Jesus lied because in John 6 and verse 46, he said, no man has ever seen God, seen the Son who came down from heaven. So if he came down from heaven, we see the sun. One of the first John 5, 7. One of the three. Now, am I, own, am I my own father and my own son? If I came down, we all came down from heaven, right? I hope you did. Because we sure didn't come up from hell. The devil don't make souls. The devil takes souls. And if the devil takes souls, then he don't make souls. So 
who make food. Only God the Father himself. And I don't believe, and I, 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 I'm, I'm willing to put up my $1,000, which I don't have, but I think they told me I had a little credit. That if you can go in your Bible and show me where that Jesus said, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, I am God. I know somebody came to me one time and they said, well, then Jesus said, if you see me, you see the Father, look at me. My daddy's name was O.D. Kirkland. And if you've seen my daddy, if you see my daddy's picture, I walked in the grocery store the other day. You know, man said, Mr. Kirkland, how you doing? I, they told me you did. I said, I'm not the father. I'm the son. He said, boy, you're a spitting image. So Jesus was a spitting image of his father. The Bible said God so loved the world, he sent his son to save a wreck like you. A sinful person like me to forgive us of our sin. God says, I'm not caught a curse on all men. And if he sin, he cannot come where I am. In order to get rid of your sins, you got to come by my son. I own a landscaping business. I got poor sons. We all in the business. I resonated to this. But now, my son has his own business. Jesus said, I'm going to build me a business like my father, saving mankind. Well, in Matthew 16, verse 18, he said, Upon this rock, I'm going to build mine. My boy says, Daddy, I went to college for two years and you told me to come back and cut grass. I'm going to build my business. My business is going to be greater than your business. So Jesus said, I'm going to earth and I'm going to save mankind. God says, take off. I'm going to give you my blessing. I gave my son his blessing. All of them. And they are now in the horticultural business. Doing well in their business. Well to be doing. But at the same time, my father, which gave me the understanding how to plant flowers, how to plant grass, how to know the different kinds of trees in my zone, in my area, in my state. We used to ride around and talk about the ash trees, the oak trees, the pineapples, or whatever. Whatever trees that grow, my daddy taught me. And because of that, we became professional horticulturists. Want you to understand the same thing about Jesus. Jesus said, if you just give me a chance, get away from the teaching of men. Build books with parents. Did he not say knowledge will be what? Vanish away. But wisdom, the Spirit of God, will stand forever. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away. But the Spirit of God, which is the Word of God, John 6, 63, will stand forever. So I just want to know this morning, what are you standing on? Are you standing on the promises of the Bible that in Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse number 4, the commandments that was given to Moses from God. God wrote the commandments and gave them to Moses. And David sung the songs in Psalm 68 and 11. I mean in Psalm 68 and 11. I think that's 68 and 11. That God gave the word. And great was the company of those of us who were published it. How can we publish it? If we are anointed. Acts 2 and verse 38. If we have repented, been baptized. See, you got a lot of people preaching that they have never been baptized. They just believers. Well, if the believers, John 2 19, the Bible says the devil believes. All believers are not preachers. Only the baptized, Acts 2 38. Don't have time to get into all of it. You can start at 36 and see. But those who've been baptized into Christ, put on Christ. 
when we put on Christ, then we become what? Teachers. Just like when you go to your favorite college. You can go to the University of Michigan, the University of Arkansas, the, uni the University of Universities. Some of them teach one thing, some teach another, but when we all come together, everybody got a different what? We got a different version of what technology and what education is all about. One man told me, he said, when I get over there, I spent six years in the in the college, and when I came out, my name is Dr. So-and-so, but doctor means master. I don't know which one to be called, Reverend or Master. Because both of them say that you're equal to Jesus. And I don't know no man that's equal to the Son of God. Because God said the Son of God is not even equal to me. But when the Son of God died, where did he go? He went back to heaven not to take over the throne. Couldn't be God. Why would they say that Jesus went back and sat on the right hand? Well, who's on the throne? Is it the Father or the Son? You think, is it the Father or the Son? Is the Son the Father or the Father the Son? Well, he says in John 1 and 1, in the beginning, the Word was God, and the Word was with God. What was mean that what? Where is the Word now? The Bible says in verse 14, the Word dwells among us. So Jesus was down here. And if Jesus was down here, where was God? Matthew chapter 17 and verse number, I mean, Matthew 17 and verses 1 through 5, when the, they said that what? When Jesus said that upon this rock I'm going to be in my church, they are praying Moses, Elijah, and the prophet standing and talking with them. But the voice out of the cloud said, no, no, no. Don't build no church for Moses. Don't build man for Elijah. Don't build man for the apostles. Don't build man for Peter. Build my church. He said, this is my beloved son, whom I am well pleased hear you him. I believe he made the clarity, the distinction between the different. This is my son, hear you him. Why are we not reading the Bible, listening to Christ today? Christ says that, look, I'm coming back. And I'm going to present my church. First Corinthians 15, 14, 15. 15, 24, I'm sorry. And I'm going to deliver the, my church, my kingdom, to my father. Why did God say, I'm coming? Like he did in Isaiah 2 and 2. It's going to come to pass in the land that my kingdom, my son, is taking that over. Uh, Daniel 2, 44. In the days of these kings, my son is coming to take over. And when Jesus got to Caesarea, he said, I don't see no church. See, there are no Old Testament churches. There are no churches in the Old Testament. All of the churches are related to where? To Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And he's here to be able to do what? To give us eternal life. You want eternal life? You got to come by who? You got to come by Jesus Christ. You want to go to heaven? John 14, I am the way. God didn't say I am the way. The son says, I'm the way. Where is he going, Jesus? To my father's house. In my father's house, there are many rooms. Well, what's the room? A place to lay down, something to be comfortable. But when we get there, you know, like everybody says at the graveyard, oh, when I die, I know I'm going up there. We're going to walk. Ain't going to be no walking. Because according to Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 8, we all are going to be just spirits. And they tell me spirits is like matter. Spirits is just air. We're going to be floating around. Spirits are something you can't see. Well, will I be able to see, Mama? How are you going to see the spirit and you can't see the wind? And I wish I had time because the Apostle Paul had to explain that to Felix in, Acts, in uh, Matthew chapter 27 and 28, you know, where that he came to him and said, Almost thou persuaded me to follow Jesus. I don't know nobody else to follow on this earth. I can't follow, I'm not going to call your religious name. But if the Bible says whosoever was not found written in the book was cast into the lake of fire. I don't know whether your church is written in the book, whether your belief is written in the book. I don't know what you believe. But if I were you, I would go to the Bible, the word of God, that doesn't have a contradiction. Well, which one has a contradiction? I'm going to allow you to find that out. You read until you get an understanding. The eighth chapter of the book of Acts, then the unit read. He read till he got an understanding. And when the man of God pointed out to him, there are three people in heaven. 
the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, let me say, that person which speaks to us, communicate to us, we communicate to Jesus, and Jesus communicate to God. He's our mediator in between us and the Father. If we don't obey Jesus, we can't talk. It's like going to the court. You don't talk to the prosecutor. You don't talk to whatever. You just don't get up there and talk to no judge. You don't just get up in there and talk to no president. You got to make what special appointment. There are special things that you have to do. You can understand that in the laws of the land. Why are we uh, at Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.23 ignorant in the Bible of God? Why don't we get it right with God? That's why all of this pandemic, that's why this plague is out here. The doctors are getting sick. The police are getting sick. The judges know where you go. Everybody is sick because God is sick of us acting like we act. If we don't get these churches back open, even as to say those who don't come in the church but come unto the church like John the Baptist, coming unto, you need to get back unto, start studying and learn what God wants. God will heal the nation. For, for Proverbs 14, verse, I mean Proverbs 7, 14, he will heal the land. He will heal the nation. But I could go on and on and on and on. Get right with God. Come out of them soon and zip down to the house of God. I don't know where it is. If it's out there on the tent, just come together with the people. Love the people. The Bible said Romans 16, 16. So look one another. Touch one another. Don't be afraid of God, people. Healing is where? In the house of God. Healing is in the people of God. Acts chapter 4. I think I better cool it here and tell you. Did you hear? Do you believe? Are you right or wrong? I think Jesus is the answer. But if you don't believe Jesus, get by the fire. You see all of them snowstorms went out? Boy, they need some fire. Get by the fire. Because now, I'm standing. The building is on fire. But I got on fire. Because I've been baptized in Christ. The Bible says, 22, 16, I've been washed from the sin, not from this old filth of the flesh. As the Bible said, not from the filth of the flesh. As 1 Peter 3, 21 said, but an answer of a good conscience toward God. I got a good conscience toward God. I believe that God is in the healing. I believe that God is in the blessing business. I believe if I'm going to get blessed. I believe in Genesis chapter 3. If the if the if we bless the man of God, God is going to bless us. I tell you, I'm very blessed. I've been one of the most taken care of people in the world, but preaching for the poor is in the land. I love what I do for God. And would like to love you to be my brothers and my sisters. I want to say once again to all of you who are listening, has been with us today, that God has been good. And my prayer is that I can hear from you that you made a change in life, came back to God. And those of you who have not been baptized into Christ, have not heard the right Bible, you will come and get converted into the church that is in the Bible. Thank you for listening and good day.